This video is going to be about structured wiring and you're looking at a structured wiring enclosure that is in its uh, final stages of completion. It's a 42 inch enclosure tall with quite a bit of wiring in there that I'll go over briefly and it has a hinged door with a lock an attractive door. I like the lock because and the hinge door because you can get access quick. The client built a custom floating shelf and on there is a, a router, wireless router, plus it uh, has TV service in if you if you can believe that or not. And at the top of this enclosure you see those black circular grommets where the wires uh, enter and exit this box. This house was pre-wired during construction. These blue wires you're looking at and those black colored modules distribute the Category 5 Ethernet cabling to locations throughout the house for the purpose of providing uh, LAN computer networking and dial tone. And those modules right there are for the purpose of distributing audio and those small white wires in the back, there, there are two white wires. One is a big big one and one is a small one. The small one in the back is for uh, future security work and the larger one is pre-wiring for satellite which this client chose to get a different television service but if he ever wants to go to satellite he can. And the black coaxial cable is uh, for TV or security cameras and things of that effect if he ever wants to add those in the future. This gray box is from the television and internet service provider. I believe it's probably a battery backup of sorts. And then down here is a power strip. It has four uh, energized electrical outlets on it and then a little power switch that's lit up there in your screen and in this case we put in a surged receptacle at the bottom of the box to help protect some of the electronics such as the audio and things of that effect in this box. The benefit of structured wiring is that it offers the client flexibility as the years pass to add and delete services in their house uh, and manage those services as their lifestyles change. Again this box is uh, getting toward its completion stage for for now. Part of the structured wiring system is this connection panel that's in the uh, living room, great room, and you're going to see a number of connection points there. Let's move closer. This top left bank of connections, those are all Cat 5, they're all RJ45 connection points, and therefore the purpose of uh, distributing audio, which that black module uh, sends an audio signal back to that structured wire panel, and then from there it distributes it throughout the house to the stereo speakers. That top left black wire that's entering that RJ45 jack is for uh, Ethernet or a home computer network, which this is the great thing about Cat5, it offers a tremendous amount of flexibility and that's part of the reason why you see so many connections here because uh, depending on what the client does now or in the future I want to talk briefly about rough-in process. Now my hand is all the way extended into this cabinet and these wires were cut back to this length. This is as far as we can pull this uh, four port decora played out. And you'll notice that the particular box that was used it's a three gang where we had to cut the back of the three gang out so that all that excess wire has a place to go once you shove this uh, decora plate back in. But the problem is because the wire is cut you know six to eight inches long it's difficult to service when you're all the way inside of an entertainment cabinet. The other thing is again it's labeled 
this particular label says A bus, well that immediately tells me that that wire is for this black box. Labeling the wires during a pre-wire phase will really save a lot of time, but you want to protect it because a lot of times the painters will paint over this label or they'll spray texture over it or it'll accidentally get cut off or pulled off. So you got to be careful because a couple of these labels are missing. Now what I'm going to do, this jack right here is the RJ25 telephone jack and in my hand I'm holding two pair from the same Cat5 Ethernet. See it's coming out of that blue jacket. One goes right to the dial tone. Now I'm holding in my hand orange and green. The orange pair which is orange, orange, white and the green pair which is green, green, white. And I'm going to connect just these two pairs for whole house um, computer network. One is for transmit, one is for receive. Uh, they have the ability to be flexible and I'm in the process today of tracing it down using this little network tool. It's about a about 85 to 100 bucks and you can see flashing it says open which means that uh, there's nothing connected on the other end of this black wire although it's plugged into the jack on the other end of the wire that's behind that plate there's nothing plugged in so we're tracing some things down and this is another reason why labeling the wires and protecting the labels during construction is critical because if another trade uh, paints over that label or rips that label off or the sheet rocker cuts that label off or what have you then you have to do things like trace down and troubleshoot in this center connection here those are called speaker binding posts you'll see a total of four of them or actually two pair those are for the purpose of hooking up surround sound speakers uh, technically speaking, the rear surround sound speakers, the spe speakers, the speakers that sit behind the viewer uh, in a 5.1 surround sound system. Of course, that uh, system isn't installed uh, yet, but the client might choose to do that at some point in the future, and he can. And then all the way on the right, you see the three coaxial F connectors. Now that gives the client all the flexibility of cable television, which Again, the television service in this particular uh, video is coming from the internet. But the coaxes would allow for coaxial cable television from the cable company, would allow for an over-the-air antenna, uh, would allow for satellite, and the back feeding of service from the satellite DVR into other parts of the house. So this is a very good example of a structured wiring plate uh, that would be located in a living room and you'll notice that box, the plate, the white plate it's a uh, three port Decora plate it's available at any you know electrical retailer or big box home improvement store and the box that's behind this is a three gang plate so there are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wires come into that box uh, which make up all those connection points now if we step back, another part of this system is this uh, internet LAN switch. It's just a traffic cop type director and it allows multiple devices such as this uh, television internet set top box to have access to the internet because it needs it for TV service and for this uh, Blu-ray player which streams services like Netflix and Pandora and then for the uh, smart TV, which currently doesn't have a signal, that's why that wheel is spinning. So all three of these devices are internet connected, and they do that through this LAN switch, and then this LAN switch gets connected to that panel, to one of those jacks on that panel right there. Now, this black box I mentioned is audio, and what that means is, is the Blu-ray player is connected to the black box via these RCA cables right here. You don't need the composite video because there's no video, but you see the red white audio. So, this is the other end of this wire is connected to the back of the Blu ray player so it can stream Pandora or play CDs and things of that effect throughout the entire house. Uh, that's what that is. So, 
I hope this explains a little bit about the benefits of a structured wire system. Uh, it can be complex. Uh, I encourage you to carefully uh, plan it out before you start to install these components and uh, when you do then you'll have the benefit of the flexibility. Thanks for watching the video.